Hey folks, Ben here with New London Farms. So this is the opening that we have that was a former gate. We've got three strands of barbed wire put up with a T-post. And so now I'm gonna show you how we're gonna put up this fourth strand here up on the top. All right, so I've got my barbed wire here. Always, always use leather gloves when you work with barbed wire because it's very sharp. So on this, on this fourth wire, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this barbed wire, wrap it around the pole around our post okay now one of the things that we do on this is that as I'm working this over is that I'm gonna twist this together like such I'm gonna twist this end together like this okay and as I'm twisting what that does is that kind of ties it off so that even if I didn't put a staple any staples on this post here I can still pull it tight and it's not gonna unravel all right now with the staples, what you want to look for is a staple like this. You see how it has, obviously, the end that you're going to drive in, but then it has these two little ridges on it, or these little hooks right there, okay? That keeps the staple from backing out, and that's the best staple that you can get um, that we've found, because once you drive it in, it's very hard to get it out, and that's what we want when we put it in to our fence. So I'm going to drive one in here onto the post, and then we will uh, we'll tighten up the wire. All right, so we got one staple in there. We're gonna do we're gonna do a total of three staples on this wire at this at this post. So one right in the front. Just think of your angles of 90, 90 degree angles. So one right here, one at the back, and then one on the other. So um, what is that, 270 around the post, and then, um, and then we're gonna run our strand down the thing. Stop. 